Now, we went on from there. The property, the land up on uh, what we call Government Hill was owned by the federal government. A major part of it had been set aside for the railroad reserve. Anchorage was growing fast and things were developing around here. They started building the International Airport out here. Prior to that, all, the only airport we had was a little municipal airport, Merrill Field. Then there was a housing shortage. So the Alaska Railroad decided that they would put in the utilities up on Government Hill. They would put in the streets and storm sewers. And they would sell lots to their employees because they had a hard time keeping employees. There was no place for them to live. They uh, got some surplus Quonset huts from Elmendorf Air Force Base. It was Elmendorf by then. Uh, they were surplus because Elmendorf had built houses for their families and their personnel. They moved those Quonset huts onto those lots up on Government Hill. They put utilities in them, and they sold those to their railroad employees at just a little bit of money so that they could afford to go in there and fix them up. And that was the beginning of the development of Government Hill. I went to the general manager of the Alaska Railroad and said if those people were going to be up there, they need a church. There's a little triangle of land up there which had been set aside for something or the other. They didn't put any quantity huts on it. One very big piece of land. But we worked out a deal to where we could lease part of that triangle. I think, uh, well, it was all controlled by the Department of Interior in Washington, D.C. And uh, we finally, First Baptist Church, leased enough uh, land there to build a building on. Six dollars a year was the lease. We had a man who was in the contracting business in our church, and we built a small building up there. We had a young preacher named Odell Linnae who had come up here and was in our church. We sent him out there with his wife and his parents. We sent somebody out there to play the piano, somebody to direct the music, and some Sunday school teachers, and some of our folks. And they went out there and started what is presently Calvary Baptist Church. Later, about three or four years later, uh, we wanted to buy that triangle, but it took an act of Congress to do that. Because the interior couldn't sell it unless Congress authorized the sale of it. So, we got Bob Bartlett, who was our representative in uh, the Federal House of Congress. We, he had no vote, but he was our representative there. To introduce a bill uh, permitting the Department of Interior to sell that land of the First Baptist Church in Anchorage. It was a minimal price. I forget exactly how much it was now. It was almost nothing. And we bought that entire triangle on which Calvary Baptist Church now sits, and that's the way Calvary Baptist Church started.